Добрый день! Меня зовут Анна, и это мой видеоблог «Русский язык на практике». Hello, my name is Anna, and this is my video blog «Russian in practice». In this video, as well as in the following two videos, we are going to learn the way they speak in Russian about things that have already happened, that is, about the past tense actions. We have only spoken about things you usually do, or that you are doing at the moment, like, for instance, in the phrases I speak Russian. Я говорю по-русски. We are listening to you. Мы слушаем вас. They are watching a film. Они смотрят фильм. She is having rest. Она отдыхает. I like speaking Russian. Мне нравится говорить по-русски. What do you usually do in order to make a phrase like this? What do you begin with? You say a subject, that is, who is doing or does the thing, then you take the verb that you need, and you take it in its infinitive form first. To have rest, to listen, to speak. Then you conjugate it in the present tense. In other words, you choose the personal form that goes well in your sentence. This way, the verb to speak, говорит, loses its ending eat and acquires the ending that goes well for the situation. I speak, я говорю. You speak, вы говорите. If you're talking about present actions, it's really necessary to keep in mind the type of the conjugation of this verb. There are verbs of the first conjugation and verbs of the second conjugation, and you modify them in each and every phrase according to the rules that are different for these two conjugations. They work, они работают, because it's the first conjugation. And they speak, они говорят, because it's the second conjugation. Well, now let's see if it's also important for the past tense. There's good news. Speaking Russian about past events is much easier than speaking Russian in the present tense. The Russian grammar has reserved surprises for us. It's not that difficult then. Let's see the rule. Listen to the phrases that will help you understand the rule. Я знала. Мы думали. Он понимал. Вы играли на фортепиано. Они ужинали в ресторане. Ты гулял в парке. Она отдыхала. Did you notice what there is at the end of every verb? If you wish to speak about something that has happened or was happening, you use the endings ла, ли, л and ло. Now we're going to see the rule in more detail. Would you like to discover the rule of the past tense in the Russian language? Let's listen again. Maybe you will manage to deduce the rule on your own. Я знала or я знал Ты гулял в парке Он понимал по-русски она отдыхала. Мы думали. Вы играли на фортепиано. Они ужинали в ресторане. You have probably noticed that in the plural form the endings are the same. It doesn't matter if you speak about us or about them or about you, like lots of people that have done the things. It's always the two letters ли at the end of the verb. So the good news is that it doesn't change by person. It's not personal anymore as it was with the present tense. If you describe things happened in the past, you pay attention to the fact that it's singular or plural. In the plural form, there is no problem. You take the verb, then you throw away the last two letters, t and the soft sign, and you add li. 
try. What's the Russian for to think? In its basic form, the so-called infinitive form, it's du mat. How would you say we were thinking? Мы думали. Мы думали. How do you understand the verb обедать? To have lunch. How do you say it? Обедать. What is the Russian for you have had lunch? Speaking about two or more people. Вы обедали. Вы обедали. What's the Russian for they were watching a film? Они смотрели фильм. This was the plural form of the Russian verbs in the past tense. Do you need to speak about one and only person in the past? Please keep in mind if it's he or she or it, it's essential. We will also remember that objects and abstract notions may not only be neuter, but masculine and feminine too. So the singular form of the past tense verbs changes by its gender. According to this, we will have one of the three endings to add to the verb. L, la, and lo, that will very often sound like la in case it's not stressed. How do you understand ya at the hall? I was having rest or I have had rest. It depends on the context. Is it a man or a woman that says this phrase? Ya at the hall? with the ending L is definitely said by a man or a guy or a boy. How would a woman say I was having rest? Ya отдыхала. What's the Russian for he has had rest? Он отдыхал. Very good. And what about she has had rest? Anna отдыхала. As you have probably noticed, the Russian past tense corresponds both to the English past simple and to the English past continuous or past progressive. You are going to learn to distinguish between the two shades and the meaning if you listen a lot and if you speak Russian as much as possible. If you manage, you can also read simple texts. It also helps us develop the linguistic intuition. The adverbs indicators are going to help us, but we will speak about them later. Hit the thumb up button and go on with this course. See you soon. До скорого!